Hey everyone, my name is Erin Gifford. I have been a graphic designer for over 15 years and I am back today with a new tutorial. Um, this one pertains to Illustrator and it is, <clears throat> we're going to be talking about, it's over here on the left hand side, it's called the With Tool. And even though I don't necessarily use this um, that much in my layout and design um, work for my clients, I still really believe it is a, a useful tool for those of you that actually do custom illustration or um, custom designs, custom patterns, that kind of stuff. So I want to make sure that I show it to you. The easiest way to show it to you is I'm going to draw, I'm going to use the ellipse tool and I'm going to just draw a circle and I already have set kind of as default um, a stroke on my circle which I guess I have a large document because it's 18 points wide but um, let's knock that down to like 10 there so by selecting our width tool which is about halfway down on the left hand side of our illustrator tool palette and clicking on any point um, within your stroke or drawing if you click, hold the shift key down and drag out to the left or right, you can see that it expands the width of just that point. So now, like I feel like this is an eyeball in an illustration. So if we duplicated this and then we rotated it, I feel like we have cartoon eyes. So that's just one way of doing it. Um, it also works, it, it honestly works with any drawing that you have. This is just the very basic demonstration of it. But So I draw my rectangle, I'm going to switch so it's a stroke instead of um, a fill. And then, because this is a square, I'm going to go ahead and use my pen tool with the little plus sign, and I'm going to add an anchor point in the middle over here on the left side. And then I'm going to go to my width tool, I'm going to select that point, I'm going to hold the shift key down, and I'm going to drag it out. So you can expand the width of any point in your drawing. I'm going to undo that with Control Z and try it down here in the corner and I feel like when you use a square and you expand the width on a corner the bottom and the top one that it's kind of a cool way to do a three-dimensional look or a two-dimensional look so very simple tool but I feel like its effects are great so I just want you guys to be able to know that that is there and how to use it if you're looking for additional guidance within Adobe Illustrator, because sometimes it can be so confusing, make sure you check out the links below to the Ultimate Illustrator Resource Guide, which is going to give you over 150 links to everything related to Illustrator, tutorials, free downloads, um, there's actually even some t-shirts and fun stuff that you can order, but it's mostly tutorials and like free brushes um, and free fonts that you can download and use um, patterns with an illustrator so if you want more if you want to dive further into illustrator that is a great resource and there's a link below to that um, otherwise I do also have if you are starting from the very beginning of this illustrator process it can be really 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 overwhelming and I have created an online illustrator course called Illustrator Academy and it is it is the basics of Illustrator so what I because I think it's so important that you build that foundation and you learn the very basics before you go into all the elaborate um, fun stuff that Illustrator can do because if you don't know the basics if you don't get the basics the fun stuff and the elaborate stuff is going to completely overwhelm you so my best advice 
um, being a graphic designer and using Illustrator every day for hours is that build your foundation and then start adding to it. So um, Illustrator Academy is a great way to do that. It's affordable and it's step-by-step -step guidance directly from me. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today and I can't wait to bring you more information next week. Thanks guys.